Welcome back everyone. Today we got a special treat having seven Smith & Wesson revolvers all in one place, one sitting. Um, like I said, uh, a friend of mine, this is another portion of his collection. Big 1911 and revolver guy. Previous video, check it out. Uh, three of his 1911s. Now we're looking at the revolvers. And he carried the majority of these. We're going to go through them. I don't really know a whole lot about them. Did not do any real research on them. We're just going to, I'll tell you the model number, tell you the little bit I know about them. We'll take a few shots through each, little show and tell, and that is it. So let's get started. We got a little snubby here, two inch performance center. This is a 629-6 in 44 Magnum. And he did carry this and would practice drawing and firing groups and shot very impressively for a 44 Magnum. I used to laugh. I mean, that's, that's getting it done right there. All right, let's bounce up here. We got another performance center. Appears to be a two, two and a half inch barrel. 686 6. This is a 357 mag times seven. It's a seven shot 357 magnum. It's got the nice wood grips on it. These are another one he carried. These are nice guns. They fit great in the hand. They feel awesome. He was such a huge revolver guy. Loved these. Carried them. I watched him shoot them many a times. So now we'll come down and we'll hit the classic 629. This is a 44 mag 629-6. That appears to be a... Uh, Maybe a seven and a half inch barrel. I should have brought a tape measure, I apologize, but some of these have the hoe grips on them. These look like original, or at least they say Smith & Wesson on them. It's got the fiber optic front sight on it. I don't know, he's got leather holsters made up for these, so I'm assuming he carried that one too. We'll come over here. We got another little snubby, two, two and a half inch. This is also a 357 Magnum. This is a 686 3. That's a six shot with the wood grips. I really like the, these style wood grips with the thumbprint or the finger grooves. Traditional sights on this one. Come over here. This one uh, is a 617 6. This is a 22 long rifle. Looks like a 10 shot. Still got the traditional sights to me. It's like about a six and a half, seven and a half inch barrel. This one's that real light. I actually did a real short video on it because he, he literally handed it to me at the range one day and was like, do a video on this. Fiber optic front sight. This is in 45 ACP performance center. This is the uh, model 325, and it's that like uh, Thunder Ranch, and it's made out of like uh, titanium or something. It's this is an expensive gun. This is the one I saw him practice the most with. I've shot it. I've shot most of these. Uh, really cool gun. After shooting it, I was like, I want one. But uh, 
not a huge revolver guy, but you know, these are, these are really cool revolvers. This one, especially on how light it is, takes the uh, moon clips. Last but not least, we have another 357 Magnum with a four inch barrel. This is the model 686-4. He told me this was a highly sought after, kind of hard to get. This is the pre-lock. Doesn't have your little lock there. And this was a, uh, I don't think they made it a whole lot of years. So it was pretty sought after. I, I do have a short video on this one as well. Um, yeah, that one's got the lock. That one's got the lock. Lock, 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 lock. So this is the only pre-lock one here. So let's go uh, put a few rounds through each one, get a couple angles, and we'll wrap this video up. Okay, sun is pretty bright out here. We're going to start with the... 617-6, the 22 long rifle, 10 shot. That's it, that's all 10. 617-6 Neat 22 long rifle All right, we're looking at the 629-6 now the 44 Magnum got the front fiber optic sight And uh, Let's start out in double action That's a big difference from a 22. Big difference. <laughs> All right, what I would call the star of the show, the model 325 Performance Center, Thunder Ranch, 45 ACP, super light. Single, we'll start with single. Really light trigger on this one, as you can tell from the first shot. All right, the 686-6, 357 Magnum, times seven, performance center. Nice wood grips. I like the way this gun feels the best in my hand. Six eighty six dash. Six, non-performance center, six shot, 357 Magnum. Definitely feels heavier than the performance center and it has one less shot. We have the 686-4 pre-lock, 357 mag, four inch barrel, six shot, That'll do it for today's video. Thank you for checking out these seven Smith & Wesson revolvers all in one place, all at the same time, kind of cool. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.